What's up, y'all? down and let y'all get in the room what's up y'all let me pull y'all a little closer so i can wave hey y'all hey y'all hey y'all hey y'all hey y'all what's up jordan what's up daniel what's up nick ebony winter hey y'all hey y'all tap in tuesday topic songs in a box my son is a little crooked but whatever. What's up, Gina? That's one of my writers. And my god sister, my sister, my family, my best friend. You know, you got best friends, sisters, and family. She not a best friend. That's my sister. That's family. But, um, what's up, Brown? What's up? I want to get into it. Okay, so I just, I guess I'm just doing me a little ghetto virtual listening party. I'm going to pay, I'm going to play like a burst in the chorus of each song and then we're gonna talk about it um the album is only 16 minutes well 17 minutes technically um only three of the songs are new the other two songs um have already come out that's pressure and no favors but we'll still play those two um and yeah let's just let's just jump on right into it and yeah let's 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 listen because like i dropped this so randomly um, I've been having this music for about two years now and it's just kind of been sitting and I knew that I was not thank you Dino I knew that I was not planning on doing like a big rollout and you know doing videos and all that stuff and I'm like well you can at least drop it on your birthday like make it a gift to yourself and to the people that believe in you and you know like your music so just drop it and see what happens so um thank you for the response a lot of you guys have you know well specifically my friends have been you know jamming it ring me back is like the favorite song for everybody and that's so funny because that is not my fucking favorite song <laughs> ring me back is not my favorite song um i love ring me back don't get it twisted but i don't like the share is my favorite song because it really speaks to myself because i don't like the share but i love that you guys love it and Let's get into it. First song up is What I Want. And um, we're going to talk about it and listen to a verse in the chorus. So What I Want was written by me. And G liked the letter. She's in the in the inbox right now. And we're going to play a verse in the chorus. And yeah. So. Produced by Bambino. We wrote this June of 2018. What's going through your head? I know you got that text. No, you know much better, baby. Don't leave me on bed. You heard what I said. Won't say it again. It's real. It's real. And it's okay. Really do it like I can. Let you give me what I want. I ain't too okay, baby. So don't you play with me. Cover. I 
Hey, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I want. Um, so what I want was the third song that me and Gina wrote. Um, when I was just randomly trying to figure out my sound, I was working with new producers, I was working with new writers. And what I want was the third song out of the three song deal that I purchased, well, that my parents purchased from the great producer from Houston, Texas, Bambino. And so we got this beat from um, Red, my boy. And uh, me and Gino, like, we was in the, I was at home having a whole nother idea. What we do when we write is we write individually and then we come together and we bounce ideas off of each other. So Gina had an idea. I had an idea. I knew I wanted it to be something sexy, but I just didn't know what. And um, I really kind of was trying to figure out my tone and how I wanted to, like, sing. So I was doing a lot of different, like, tones. So I was, um, you know, singing. And this vocal was more like, you know, my, I guess, I might be saying this, or maybe my head voice, or more like, you know, trying to do my falsetto, like, here we go again, damn, don't run up pretend, I see you at 10, like, I, you know, it was, it was a little struggle, you know, you're trying to get sexy on or whatever like that, but shout out to my sis Gina, we wrote that song together, and we split everything, like, we write the verses and the choruses together, and we literally come together, and we combine everything, so that's what I want, I don't want to take too long, so... We're going to keep it moving. Now, this next song is I Don't Like to Share. Now, this is my favorite song because I don't like to share. Now, what I want, what I want, Pressure and No Favors, were all wrote in 2018, the year that I had decided that I was leaving Texas to come to Houston. Some things were just not working out musically with some, with some um, other people that I was working out with. So we decided to just go our separate ways and then I started creating with some other people. And so what I want was a part of me breaking off from my previous music relationship and starting anew and literally like, oh, thank you for the badge, Malik. Oh yeah, my badges is on. If y'all wanna donate a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, whatever. Thank you, Malik. Mwah. Malik is an amazing artist, a handsome guy as well. You know, I like the chocolate, but he lives out here in LA. We like that's my boy i love him we don't gotta talk every day we don't gotta see each other every day but you know what it is malik and so um anyway yeah so what i want and all that stuff so next um i'm good thank you babe so um next i'm gonna play i don't like to share and after we're done like listening to the songs i want y'all to like call in so we can discuss it y'all can tell me what y'all favorite songs is so i don't like to share is a song that i uh, created with DJ Cho. So if you know any, if you know the song Ashley, Ashley, I get hot when she walk past me. Look at that ass, cause she thick, th 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 thick. That is DJ Cho's. DJ Cho's is from Brookshire, Texas. He went to PB and then the rest of his entire life he's been in Houston, Texas. Me and DJ Cho's have been cool since, oh my God, 2000 and like, 15 he is an amazing producer an amazing artist an amazing writer and i reached out to him in 2019 of december shout out dj chose to tag him if y'all can i reached out to him um in december of 2019 right before you know 2020 and i was like look i want to get some beats from you i don't know what i'm gonna do with these songs but i just want to you know like, I want to create some stuff. And so, I was like, whatever your price is, like, just let me know and I'm willing to pay it. Because one thing about Tierney, I pays my way. I don't ask for no favors. I ain't asking for no handouts. I'm not asking for no cuts. And DJ chose just fuck with how I approached him and how I came, you know, business savvy. Thank you, Bone. Thank you, Shona, for my badges. I love y'all. You know, I came at him as a boss, like I am, with money ready. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to hook you up. Usually, I'd be charging $5,000 a song. I'm going to give you a deal. So, he gave me two songs for uh, not $5,000. That's a goddamn show. But he gave me two beats, and he actually wrote the hook. So, I don't like to share. The hook was written by DJ Chose. And me and Gina wrote the rest. So, let's get into it. Ah! <laughs> And it's, okay, let me start off. Let me you can hear the tagline. And I'm gonna sing this too. Yeah. Yeah. 
You make me feel some type of way And that's kinda rare If I hit your line back to back It's because I care This ain't no competition They do not compare Just making me and you Cause I don't like to share Me what you doing? I must not be the only senior reader you pursuing. My criteria is superior, nothing to it. I said it, I meant it, I ain't scared to prove it. Not normal, not average, baby, I'm exclusive. Ain't no weak man, but baby, let me introduce you. Head game crazy, like a you out the deuce. Make a comeback, like executive producer. See, I don't want you to love if you think I'm not enough. And that's kinda rough If I hit your line back to back That's because I care This year, this year ain't no competition They do not compare Just making me and you Cause I don't like to share Not much of deliberation I done gave you plenty of time I gave you plenty of time Don't have to be with you, I can Don't have to be with you, baby Still come it ain't worth my time Worth my time, yeah You better take advantage created the beat so i see y'all saying y'all can hear a nice rap feature on this i would love to have a rap feature i would love to have kid man i love kid man that's my boo we both from the north side she i've been knowing her before he'd be like he'd be like you know so i would love to have somebody like that on a remix but you know i don't like to share was about a true experience per usual you know, um, the guy that I'm also talking about on pressure is the guy, is the same guy that I'm talking about on I don't like to share. And the situation was just what it sounded like. I don't like to share. He, when I got in my situation and I tried to go back to him, he was in a situation. And, you know, naively, I was under the impression that possibly, you know, you know, we kicking it. So obviously your situation must have ended, but it wasn't, it hadn't ended. And that was my fault because I wasn't asking no questions. I was just like, well, he calling me. He told me that they on bad terms. So that must mean he want to come back this way. And then when I really found out that the nigga was still had a whole goddamn girlfriend who lived in LA. Okay. You visiting her and me at the same goddamn time, killing two birds with one stone. And I don't like the share came out. And that also was, um, it was just a difficult time. You know, I don't like the share was, a time of me just trying to find self-love and, you know, literally holding on to a situation that was simply an illusion. It was, what's up, Justin? What's up, Amanda? What's up, Mr. Roku? You know, it was just a situation where I was just trying to figure some shit out. But anyway, we're moving on to Ring Me Back. 
Ring Me Back is the fan favorite. Like I told y'all, I was trying to like find my tone of voice, trying to like, I wanted to really start tapping into like, you know, my deeper tone of voice. And so Ring Me Back is literally the low tone register. Okay, um, Justin, I'm going to call you as soon as I get done on the live. Or I'll call you on the live if you want to give me your expertise. Justin is an amazing pianist out here in L.A. He's played for Trippy Red, Blast, Kanye West, Stevie Wonder. I mean, this nigga is amazing. Like, shout out to you, Justin. So, Hopefully you listening to the EP. You can give me some critiques. You know what I'm saying? Opinions matter. I love, I love, love, love opinions. So Ring Me Back is my low register tone. I'm giving you T-Boss feel. So DJ Charles wrote the hook as well. And he also um, made the beat. And my baby Ryan. Me and Ryan wrote this song. Shout out to Pradia. Oh my God. Love him. Love him. It's literally just me, Ryan, and Gina. We write everything together. So let's check it out. Oh, my bad. <laughs> What's up, Alyssa? So this is the fan favorite that everybody fuck with. And um, I got a funny story behind this song. When I call your phone, you pick it right up. You see me calling, don't be forwarding my shit. You know, carpet. Yes, played in your car is available on iTunes, Spotify, Title, all that great shit. Um, Ring Me Back, like I said, is a song that me and Prady wrote. Um, he wrote the first verse, I wrote the second verse. DJ Chose wrote the hook and created the beat. And uh, Ring Me Back, let me tell you the funny thing about Ring Me Back. So, Ring Me Back was one of them songs that I really uh, When I call your phone, you know what we got is amazing. There will never be another like us. You know that you drive me crazy. We got nothing if we don't got trust. I know that you love me, baby. But lately you've been acting shady. Don't wanna feel you trying to play me. 
But you know you see my name and your phone, boy. Don't be having me questioning you. Calling your phone, leaving messages too. I get tired of playing it cool. Trying to get through to you. Had to dig it down. When I call your phone, pick it right up. You see me calling no before in my shit. And it was fun singing in a lower register. I've always been so used to singing, you know, up. It, like, you know, songs like Tell Me Where I'm Hitting It Up. You know, what we do is confidence. Super, super high. So these next songs, I wanted to, you know, drop it low. Drop it low, low. And so, of course, those are my three newest songs. And then, of course, I added Pressure and No Favors on there. And I'll just do the little verse and chorus of Pressure and a little verse and chorus of No Favors because y'all should already know that. But just in case y'all don't, Pressure is written totally by Ryan. I told him a story. He wrote it. Bad Vino made the beat. And I sung the dance. Here we go. It was all a dream. Summer 16. I saw you looking at me like King Me Queen. Back then I had a man. And now you got a girl. But we just seem to end up in our own little world. I tried to break it out, but the vibe is too strong. Don't let it ride, but we know it ain't wrong. Now I got an occupation that I No flex, no games, no test. Me. I'm a self made boss. Wanna real one? I know you got, you got, you got a situation. But baby, I'm bored of your temptation. Never find nobody love you better than. Let my love make you better like medicine. So yeah, if you don't know that, you should know because it's, it's been out. And No Favors, of course, is the last song on the EP. And No Favors was my first song that I recorded when I was finding my voice. And it was just me explaining how I feel just about everything, dating, life, what I was going through. It's a really depressing time in my life when I was trying to find my voice. I literally was about to quit music. I still say right now that I'm not an artist, but putting this EP out and then getting you guys' responses and people saying that they love the song, just kind of like kind of boosted my confidence up to like, you know, let me actually get back in my bag and not allow my PTSD <laughs> of being an artist to like, you know what I'm saying, stop me from making my dreams come true. So many of you guys told me to do videos, to bring me back. My homegirl Destiny that lives out here in LA that I met through trying to do some collaborative work, she literally wrote me a whole motherfucking treatment for ring me back she's like i wrote you a treatment girl we shooting a video period so we're gonna end it with no favors because we don't need no favors but i appreciate all the favors so here we go oh and no favors was written by me and gina produced by bambino <laughs> Like you don't see 
stay with you through the end of time Lost a lot of things but never lost my mind Sacrifice my sanity, shackles up, I'm finally free I'm using all my energy to beat the odds so you can't see You can never kill my pride, you're killing my vibe Keep saying that I'm switching sides, yes I gotta listen to you with many new levels to reach Oh yeah Make me feel like You kept me down inside Yeah But now I'm much better Ooh, and I'm doing much greater So when you get me out I'm looking up the door Say your bye, see you later There's no No hard feelings between me and you all of the things you put me through The best and not the lesser I made it past the pressure I'd be down if I let her Oh yeah Your life, your life You get me down inside oh, And I'm doing much greater so when I get you out, I'm just chugging up the news, saying bye, see you later. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got it too that one, baby, because baby, that was the first song I recorded when I was trying to find my new sound, when I was trying to just figure myself out, literally right before I moved to L.A., so... That song is just, ooh, gets me fired the fuck up. It gets me fired the fuck up. And, um... What's up, cousin? What's up, B? What's up, cousin? Hey, Miss J.Y. You know, I just, that song just, you know, it just gives me chills. It was a very, very, very hard time, like Gina say. It, it's, this is real life. Like, that's my real life. I was really going through some shit. And uh, that song was very therapeutic. I played that song many a day before I ever released it, crying. You know what I'm saying? Just... You know, thinking about everything and also just being grateful. Like, you know, being grateful that I, I don't need too many favors. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff that I do is off of my own merit, off of people that fuck with me and they want to give me an opportunity just because they fuck with me. So, um, that's the EP, Songs in a Vault. I would love for you guys to download that. iTunes, Spotify, Tidal. You can listen to it on YouTube. You can also add the songs on Instagram and everything, baby. It's up. It's up. It's legit. We here. We do not look like nothing that we've been through. But I would love if some of y'all call in and give me some of your opinions on, you know, the EP or some songs that y'all like or any questions that y'all have. Like, call in. And until some of you start calling in, I'm going to go ahead and transfer over to my birthday and how that was. So, my birthday was amazing. Went to the Bahamas. I'm going to just talk until somebody calls in and wants to say something. But um, Bahamas is amazing. I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful that I was able to influence 15 of my best and greatest friends to take a flight overseas with your girl doing COVID and come to the Bahamas with me. And so I love y'all so much. And I love y'all like, oh my God, like who has 15 people that takes a trip for their black ass? Only me, Tierra me. <laughs> I mean, there's other people too, but I don't know too many people that got 15 motherfuckers that will spend their hard-earned money just to celebrate you. And I'm appreciative. And I do the same thing for them. So that's why it's nothing. Um, if you just not coming in, I play my songs for my EP. Um, hey, new, my boo-boo. What's up, Top Time with Bree? Um, you know, um, yeah, so if you haven't heard the EP, make sure you get it. Um, I dropped it randomly because, I dropped the EP randomly because, like I said, I wasn't going to put it out if I didn't. So, I kind of forced myself. But, birthday was amazing. I keep jumping back and forth. Birthday was amazing. Had a great time. And, as promised, because ain't none of y'all called me to talk about my EP. So, I guess I'm going to just go ahead and tell my funny stories. Since don't none of y'all want to tell me nothing. But, I see y'all in the comments. So, hey, what's up? Maybe y'all looking raggedy and y'all want to be on camera. I understand. I understand. Oh, okay. I got a request. Ah, trying to get on here. <laughs> it's my sister. Hold up. Okay. Did I add her? Did I add my sister? <laughs> okay, there she go. <laughs> Where am I missing now? <laughs> Finally. Uh, I feel like such a celebrity, you know? Yes. Such a celebrity. <laughs> what do you want to say? <laughs> sorry, y'all. Sorry, I was laughing because we goofy. We no, just got off the phone, y'all, literally like 15 <laughs> minutes ago. That's why we extra goofy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> 
I'm just gonna reiterate what I've already said. Very proud of you. My faves are um, share what I want and um, favorites. I think everybody on the live agree like favorites. Like that is that's transparency. That's that's authenticity. What's the word? Authenticity. Yeah. The lyrics itself um, just speak so much. And three years three years ago, but this you, you made timeless music, and that's what it's about. Not no junk music. This is timeless Thank music. You. Okay. Okay. All right. And shout out to the Rast, the Passion, the Rast. We're the best. And yeah, the I'm Rast so proud. girls. Yes, yeah, so proud of you. And um, yeah, that's it. Love you. All right, y'all. Wait, can... cause Shauna got a song <laughs> that we need to put out. Shauna got an album that we. Girl, this is no about. Out. This is not about me. Not me. I don't care. I'm gonna call you out. <laughs> let's get Sean. Let's let's. I want y'all to flood Shauna DM and comment to tell her drop the fucking I... album. I am. Together called 180. I was gonna slide it on my EP, but I'm like, I ain't gonna do it like that. You could have. I wasn't a kid. I wasn't a kid. But the song it's, is dope, y'all. The song is fucking dope. Should I play a little snippet for the people? You play a little snippet for the people. You, you, you got your parts you together, Shana. You got your parts together. Lip syncing, yes. Trying. Y'all want to hear me and Shana do I want to real quick? I think the people want to hit a word too. Okay, oh you ready? I'm not missing now. It's okay. Let's 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 see what the people say. This girl. Can you hear? Okay. I'm lip syncing so they can hear us that we not auto tune. Okay. <laughs> All right. We finna play this song called 180, y'all. This is Shana on the hook. Shana wrote all the songs. I just wrote my little baby verse. Oh, Lord. Vocal produced by Madison. Beat made by what's his name? Q. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Here we go. You could can't see a big thing with me. Trying to table so quickly. Everything was so good to you. We played the move. But for you, you can't tell I the truth. It's what you be so real and I do what I will be. The nigga that I first met is not the next day. You changed on me. It's crazy how we hear what made it for what it's worth. You, you should have had the house. You got it. 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 You Thank you, pretty Brittany. 
we we <laughs> let me say something shiny ep so much for me sally bro it's it's so live it's so live <laughs> and i've been on her ass about putting it out because that's what friends do we be on each other's ass okay look uh, my <laughs> said, don't worry i'm gonna catch you in public and ass cut a seat yeah when you see Shlava Songbird, give her a dollar. She'll sing and make a dollar. <laughs> Not a dollar. Give her a dollar, make it holler. Oh, my but, God. Um, I'm proud of you, friend. I'm proud of both of us. You know, we just some young women just, you know, trying to make it happen, trying to not let nobody nappy-headed ass son distract us or, or any of that. Oh, purr, purr, purr. Okay? <laughs> but, um, we got to do us a joint album, Period. We got five months left. We can make it happy. And I'm We dropping. can make it happy, bitch, but you need to put your shit out first. And then in the, me in the meantime, in between time, we can be working on our little joy project, do a quick little four songs and keep it moving. All right, peoples. I'm out. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if she know how to hang it up because I definitely don't. Oh, okay. There we go. So, yeah, that was me and Shauna's song, 180. If you like it, throw a heart in the... Um, so, yeah, I had one person get on the live with me, so that was dope. Hey, 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 y'all, I see y'all coming up in here. So now let's go ahead and get to my surprise story. All right, because I'm still on my birthday kick, and I'm still on a birthday high. Hi, T. And um, I'm not going to stop talking about my birthday until July is over, and I still got a few more days until July is over. I want to talk about, what's up, Jay? I want to talk about a story where I was talking to this boy in college, and he played me like a motherfucking sucker, y'all. And when I say I was so sad and I cried in my dorm room. Oh, my goodness. So this is what happened. I was talking to this dude named Kevin. Kevin was, like, super artsy. Um, I used to really be into, like, well, I went to an arts school. I went to an art college, you know, performing arts, liberal arts. So everybody in, in the middle of Chicago, in the city, everybody was very artistic and eclectic. And so at the time, I used to be super into, like, the boys that were, like, rock star skater boy type guys. Like, super tatted with the big gauges or crazy hair and skinny, skinny ass jeans. Like, you know, wearing the big sterling silver rings and all the weird ass Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz, okay? Think about Lenny Kravitz, and that's what I was super... Lenny Kravitz can still get it. Them type of niggas can still get it, too, but I was super into those type of dudes back then in college. And so Kevin was, like, an art major. He was an amazing artist, and um, we met at a party. And, like, every time I used to go to parties, you know, I used to be the freestyle queen, okay? They used to call me Lil' H-Town. They used to call me Lil' H-Town for a reason because, bitch, Lil' H-Town get down. And I would hop in the motherfucking cypher rings and be rapping like I was MC Light in this bitch. I'd be like, it's your girl T from that H-Town. Yeah, yeah, bitch, you know what's about to go down. Coming through swinging and on top hanging. About to bust through, bitch, you know I'm steady banging. It's the good day, no sight. Yeah, that used to be me in college. I'm still like that right now. But in college, baby, I bust through the sea. Uh, what's the deal? And I'm telling you how I feel. I'm fresh and so clean, bitch. Tell me what you rip. I really wanted. To, I was really supposed to be a singer. I was supposed to be a singer slash rapper. That's really what I was supposed to be on the on the cool on the cool cool. I really thought I was freestyle queen in it. Okay. Uh. That's another day for another story. So we met at a party. I was freestyling and, you know, doing my thing. Uh, 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 asking for my number. And, like, you know, he was tall, skinny, and weird. <laughs> and weird looking. And I was like, oh, he's so cute. He's so artsy. Ah, I want to talk to him. So, like, he was like, we in college, mind you. So he was broke. We both 18. He was broke, but he used to come up with the best little ideas for dates. And ladies, let me tell you something. When a nigga say he got a female best friend, make sure that the bitch is his best friend and not a bitch that he fuck when he ain't got nobody to fuck. Make sure she's not a fuck friend, okay? Let's, let's make sure that. I got to take this ponytail down because, oh, my God, something ain't right. It's kind of hurting. Okay, so cool. You know, he had a best friend. So I thought she was his best friend. And I had a girl, Kiki Kiki, we all going, we went to a little museum. It was his friends and me, you know, he had no money, but he had a free little ticket to get a bitch in the museum for the free free. We rode on the bus. I mean, we live in the city. So, hey, Dre, hey, Antoinette, hey, chill. 
So we had our little city bus passes and we went to the museum and I love stuff like that. Let me tell you something. Men, if you want to date me, if you want to impress me, there's a few things that I like to do. I like to eat. I like to eat. I like movies. Not Netflix chill movies. I like going to the movies. I like art museums. I like long walks in the park. I like sweet, you know, affirmations whispered softly in my ear. I like, you know, flowers. I like meaning, meaningless calls just to say I wanted to hear your voice. Even though none of that shit probably gonna happen because, I mean, look at me, I'm single. And I look like this, and nobody wants to oblige. So it's cool. But yeah, he was all of that. Like, he was really good at, you know, making a young lady feel special. So, you know, um, we go to the museum. We, 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 we hanging out. We eating at the UC, you know, in the lunchroom. You know, you get free lunch when you're in college. If you got the good program. If you got the good platinum program, you get the free lunch. So we eating our little lunch together. And then every now and then, we might go get a little slice of pizza next door. You know what I'm saying? We in college. We young. We broke. But we making it do, and he's still making the bitch feel special. So, you know, I was going to his friend's house and hanging out, and everything just, everything really seemed cool. I'm like, this might be my boo. The, the nigga looked like Goofy from Disney Plus. But I liked him. His teeth was buck with a big-ass gap. He was skinny. He uh, told me that he used to go to the sperm bank to make money, because he didn't want to get no job, so he would Go donate sperm. I know. Isn't that crazy? I don't, I don't even know why that popped up in my head, but that was really something that he told me. Like, yeah, I be donating sperm and I be making like $1,000. So if you see me not smoking or if I'm not drinking, it's because my sperm got to be clean so I can make the money. <laughs> Girl, the shit I used to allow to slide, honey, but when I was 18, it was broke. I was thinking about giving some of my motherfucking eggs and freezing them shit. I'm like, well, hmm, maybe I could do that, but I smoke and drink too much. So at the time, and I wasn't going to stop. So, you know, that's that. So, you know, we go into his house, and I'm still seeing the best friend around. You know what I'm saying? And she's still, this story is real. This is real life. I was 18. I ain't know. I was like, well, he making some money. He making an honest living. He ain't robbing and killing nobody. We do live in Chicago now, y'all. So, I heard that a nigga ejaculated in a cup. They be jacking niggas on the street. <laughs> and, yes, this story is real. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. So, anyway, you know. I'm noticing that, like, when I'm coming around, the girl best friend and him, they just sneaking off and doing little weird shit. And I'm just like, where is Kevin? Like, where is Kevin? And like, oh, he's with, I can't remember the bitch name. I'm going to just say her name was Perisha. He with Perisha. And I'm like, what they doing? Oh, they just talking. And like, you know, I would notice them always just being a little too, <laughs> ain't nothing that got them funny. Ain't nothing that got them funny. What's so fucking funny? And I'm like, okay, they always laugh, and some shit is always funny, but I'm still trying to keep it cute, trying to keep it cute, you know? Not get into my feelings and feel like, you know, he's doing anything wrong. I'm trying to get a nigga the benefit of the doubt. Ladies, stop giving niggas the benefit of the doubt. I I didn't learn when I was 18, and, I'm, and I clearly didn't learn now at 31, because I'm still giving niggas the benefit of the doubt that do not need to be having the benefit of the fucking doubt. So... His birthday was coming up, and I literally was planning a whole little one, too. You know, my daddy used to give me $150 every week on Wednesday. So I had just got my little 150 allowance on Wednesday, and I was going to take 50 of them dollars, and I was going to take him to a little movie on her. You know, a little, little itty on her. We ain't got to eat in the UC. TM, we got it. We going to go to Bar Louie. Okay, Bar Louis was the shit in Chicago when I was in school downtown. Like, it was like the mega bar mega. You go to Bar Louis, you feeling like you got a little coin. I was going to take you to Bar Louis. I had a little cupcake for him. I had all this shit. And I'm like, noticing that he's not really, um, not really picking up the phone. You feel me? I'm, I'm calling. I'm texting. Sorry, it's a little hot in my house because I be turning off the fan. So y'all will hear that in the back because, you know, I'm, I'm living in California in the in the ghetto and I don't have central AC and my my AC unit comes from a wall and it's very loud. So excuse the snuffles. It ain't because I'm doing no white lines, okay? It's because it's hot. <laughs> so anyway, you know, I'm noticing like he's, he's not really answering the phone. 
you know yes this woman spends money on men matter of fact i spend too much money on men with they ungrateful motherfucking asses but that's another time for another day and another story so anywho um you know i had a whole little birthday one two set up and i was calling him and i'm like he's not why is he not answering the phone i'm like i'm not understanding why he's not answering and then like he kept like giving me the run around you know how to, you know how niggas and bitches be doing they give you the run around oh my phone messed up or oh i'm gonna call you later or oh or you know like i'm just trying to figure out what's going on because literally just two days ago you was in my bed eating my cat eating it up like careful soup mm -mm, motherfucking good and see that's really what was keeping me there that nigga had the best tongue game I had ever experienced in all of my little 18 years of living. He, woo, hands down, hands the fuck down, okay? So, bitch, I was attached. I was like, I can't lose the head monster. I, I, <laughs> these is my legs, these is his head. Mm, like, I'm 24 <laughs> 7. I'm just trying to wrap, wrap my legs around you. I don't want to see you nowhere else but between these legs, Kevin. Okay? Paint me like you paint that canvas, all right? Use your tongue to paint my cat like you paint that canvas, nigga. And he could do it, too, baby. He could do it. Oh, yeah, baby. He could do it. That little, little, that little nigga got down with the get down for me to be that young, honey. Child. He had turned me out. So, you know, I'm in my feelings. I'm like, I'm horny. What's up? And I wasn't using toys back then. You know, toys was taboo. Like, a toy, sex toy. Who talked about that? I wasn't using no sex toys. So, I'm calling. He not answering. I'm on Facebook because that's when Facebook was popping. This was before the Instagram. This was before all of the... Well, Twitter was out. Facebook was out. This was before a Snap. This was before a IG. I'm that old, okay? I'm not old, but yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm that girl, okay? Grown woman, all right? You can tell. So, <laughs> you know, I'm on Facebook. Kevin Art, whatever the fuck his name is. And I see he makes a caption. And Parisha is tagged in it. What is Parisha doing tagged in this post, my nigga? He done tagged Parisha like, and they got pictures. They done took some pictures. So, bitch, you been out. With Parisha all day, and but you was eating my cat just two days ago, and you ain't answering my calls because you with Parisha, your best friend. We got a motherfucking problem. We got a motherfucking problem, bitch. So when I'm looking at her caption, it's giving, it's giving. I'm sucking his dick. It's giving that. It's giving. He eat my cat now, bitch. It's giving. He's not our best friend. He's my fuck friend. That's what it's giving. So I don't know who I reached out to or who, oh, I know who I asked. I asked my friend, Justin. Quasi, Quasi probably not in the lot, but Quasi had a best friend named Justin who went to school with us. Quasi is my other friend from Houston that went to school with me too. Um, he works with Beyonce. <laughs> but anyway, um, I asked Justin because Justin was really good friends with Kevin. They were like roommates or some shit like that. So I'm like, Justin, like, what's T? Um, is him and Parisha like they dating or something? Like, what's going on? Because he's ignoring me. He was like, on the cool tea. Like, I ain't, I ain't want to say nothing because I didn't really know what was going on and what was the nature of your relationship. But he been fucking with Parisha for a minute. Like, they're not just best friends. Like, they date. Like, that's like his fucking girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Parisha knew that this nigga was eating my cat and was continuously hanging around us and was just waiting until he had already finished. I mean, I, I was so confused. I was so lost. And, um, yeah, he had spent that whole birthday with Parisha. And I was in my room crying like a goddamn fool. And I ended up looking out my window because the way my window was set up, you could see people walking on the street. Why the fuck I look out the window and I see they ass um, walking down the street from Polly's Pizza? Polly Pizza is the spot that everybody goes to get a little pizza and a little wing. And I seen them coming back from Polly's Pizza. I could have bought you Polly's Pizza. I could 
could have got you some wigs. You ain't have to, you ain't have to fuck over me for Parisha. And she wasn't even as cute because you know how girls, but you know, I'm, we're going to compare. I'm telling, I'm telling you right now. And if you on this live and saying that you ain't never compared yourself to another woman, that your nigga or a nigga that you was interested in started talking to you a motherfucking lie. And the same thing for you niggas. If you ain't, if you going to sit up here and say that you ain't never compared yourself to a nigga that a bitch you was interested in is talking to, or another man that maybe your girl decided to leave you for you a liar because we're human. So that's what happened. So I was comparing myself and I was like, I look way better than Parisha. What does Parisha got that I know? Because she's skinny like me. And I, I I was real skinny back then. I'm, I'm, I'm a little filled out now, but I was bones. You feel me? But I was still cute. I was like, Parisha ain't got no ass like me. Her titties are like mine. What, what is she giving that I ain't giving? Is she sucking a dick longer than me? Like, what's the problem? What is the problem? So I ended up reaching. He finally ended up reaching out to me after I, you know, called him on, about another day or two. And I was like, so you go with Parisha? And he's like, you know, it just kind of happened. And I think I'm just going to, like, you know, deal with her. And, you know, I, I think, you know, I, I wasn't trying to lead you on. Ah! Bitch, it's too fucking late. It's too fucking late. And so the type of person I am, once you kind of like set the tone that you're going to fuck over me, there's really no coming back from that. Like we're not, we're not rekindling shit. So I seen him in Parisha walking from Polly's Pizza while I was in my room crying. Yeah. And me, Parisha, and him was all kicking it. And you was fucking both of us. And Parisha knew, but I didn't. Ain't that crazy? I just, I don't know. The ghetto, the ghetto, the fucking ghetto. But one thing about it, and two for sure, T.M., we don't cry long over no hoe. All right? I, don't, I ain't crying long. You know, I'm going to be, I'm going to cry a little bit because I'm a cancer. So that's just what it is. I'm going to cry a little bit, and then I'm going to get the fuck on. I'm going to get the fuck on. And best believe he tried to come back like they all do. I know, bruh. <laughs> They ain't say tell them kids to be quiet. They asses be outside all fucking day. And you know, the walls is thin over here, child. So you can hear everything in the hood, honey, child. Oh, Lord. And you know, I got a little crack in my window because I got the AC unit connected through the window. So I got a little crack so it don't close all the way. So I be hearing they asses. Like, I be doing my auditions and I be hearing the dog bark. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to do a fucking audition. Damn, gotta wait till the damn dog. Done. See? I know y'all heard the dog bark just now. <laughs> the ghetto, the phone, the whole world, nothing but the phone, okay? But anyway, so yeah, Kevin played me like a motherfucking violin child. He was fucking me and Perisha child. And Perisha dumbass was just like, I'm cool. But you know why this was cool? Because that nigga tongue game was probably, I know he used to put me in a coma. Okay, I didn't even used to get to have the sex. I one lick from him and I literally I'm sleep snoring in that bitch. <clears throat> My bad. Hey, you will give me some water. <clears throat> I'm a little thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> Columbia was lit. It was crazy. We had co-ed dorms, so the boys and the girls all lived on the same floor. It was a lot of fucking going on. A lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of pregnancy going on. Um, a lot of dropping out going on. Uh, a lot of drugs was going on. You know, so nah, he had me, he had me. Put me to sleep. Hey, put me to sleep. Let me tell you something. I'm a very experienced woman. So any man that's coming over here. You can't be hitting me with the mediocre cat lip. I, I, you can't catnip me. That ain't gonna work, bitch. I'm gonna need you to. Get, I got a little lizard tongue, but I'm gonna need you to spread. <laughs> spread the tongue. I can't. I can't wait to get you home. I don't know that I want you, but not unless you want me to just spread. Spread the feet. I can't, I can't wait to get you home. Yeah. So.
So yeah, that is my tap in Tuesday. Y'all know they're gonna cut me off after the hour. I got about a few minutes left. It's eight fifty seven. I'm gonna step out tonight because I look cute and all my work is done. I'm on set tomorrow. Um, I'm so excited to be back on set with Tyler Maddox. That's the lady I did the last movie with. So she called me to come do another movie and she doubled my motherfucking pay. So you know what bitch said? Yes, hooray. Oh god. Um, but I'm thankful, I'm grateful. Thank y'all for tuning in. Grab the EP, Songs in the Vault. Oh, the funny thing that I want to tell about Ring Me Back is that Ring Me Back is not mixed. <laughs> <laughs> I never got Ring Me Back or I Don't Like to Share fully mixed. Now, I Don't Like to Share has a light mix on it, but Ring Me Back ain't got nobody's mix on it. And I was just like, I'm not about to pay to get this song mixed. So it sound good. Just don't turn it all the way up to 100 and it won't be distorted. <laughs> But I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all already know what it is. Thank you, Danielle. I love you. I'm going to be safe. Thank you, Shauna. Shout out to the people that gave me my badges. Shauna Bone from the Fofo, Malik Rose. I love y'all so much. And my fine ass, finna try to go find some fine, somebody fine ass daddy because, yeah, you don't like sharing me. Either no, I don't like sharing me, and I ain't. <laughs> if you thought that I was finna share, you thought wrong. You thought wrong. I got to clean up this little mess I made because I definitely knocked my motherfucking whole glass of tequila over. And I'm very upset. Very upset. Very upset. <sighs> anyway, I love y'all. Peace out. <laughs> Fuck they thought. Period, bitch. We need to do a skit to this conversation Thursday. Let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. All right, y'all. I'm out. Drip Production. Holla. Shauna. Pretty Brittany. The Yay. Chill 246. Braids by Natalie. Um, Sanaa. All y'all. I love y'all for real. Okay, I'm going for real now. Bye.